comments and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Radio BAM Series 28 Faction. I'm here with Chad I. Ginsburg, Maddie J, Jacasso, Lou Goyle, and Punk Rock Michelle. Now. Hey, everybody. Lou Goyle just, uh broke his tooth out the other night. Um, Louis, what were you doing? Well, it was about 2.30 a.m. Ah, morning. tooth joke. And, uh, <laughs> right over my head. Yeah, we were dancing. It was 2.30? Like always dancing, and, uh... We were at a club, weren't we? Like a, yeah. We were like a discotheque. It was, it was a I, place I, called Tekka, and upstairs it's seriously like South Beach in Miami in Westchester. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, you know, you know when you're, uh... You're acting like you're sucking on a beer bottle's dick. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, I was doing that, only I was doing it in push-ups. The beer bottle was on the Is that table. that my influence? I was doing, yeah, I was doing push-ups down right. towards the beer bottle. And uh, eventually I hit my tooth and popped out. Man, whenever you Ray Brower it, you always, you always, something bad always happens. Yeah. Punk Rock Michelle, have you ever sucked a beer bottle's dick? <laughs> I suck a lot of beer bottle's dick. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about beer bottles, right? So are, are you a lesbian or are you just whatever? Or are you like dudes or why, what? Why are you asking her if she's a lesbian? I mean, because she lives because in New Hope. Because she lives in New Hope, which is a lesbian like town. Cock. Big cock, small cock, any cock, just cock. <laughs> I don't like punani. No? No. Ever tried it? No. <laughs> All the lesbians in New Hope w wouldn't be able to get you to try it over the... How long have you been living there? Long time. Well, she was in the A1 Roller Rager video, and uh, Joe Franz, who was filming, he has he has a big, big, you know, meat bat. Yeah, and I'd like to get my mouth around it. <laughs> oh, should I not have said that? No, you can say that. <laughs> He's single. Is he single? I'm single too. Call him up. Hey, yeah, let's, let's call him up. Call him up. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we haven't had Joe on the show for a while. <laughs> Maybe he would have came if you sucked it up. I think he would have come if... <laughs> you got a speakerphone it? Yeah, I'm going to speakerphone it. Might on. not pick up. He's, this is like his... What's Joe Franz been doing? Weren't you guys working on 69 Eyes videos, shit like that? Yeah, we just finished up the uh, Dead and Gone video. Oh. Uh, answer Machine. Answer mm. machine. Sounds like him. <laughs> I was over at his help, house helping him build... Uh, reinforce his basement. So nothing, uh, nothing fun and glamorous, but... Were you naked? Ooh, no. Uh, that took a long time to come out. No, I wasn't at all, actually. But, um... He is a weird dude, man. Like, he, he has fucking, like, 40 Corona bottles just, like, all over his, uh, coffee table and, like, stuffed under the couch and stuff. Just, like, beer bottles everywhere. Empty beer bottles? Yeah. He, he says he drinks a case a night all on his own. Not anymore. He's on it. He's on his way to health and uh, health and fitness. Oh yeah. When? Yeah. Well, I think he's down a few pounds. He's installing like a boxing gym in his basement. That's just why I've been over there. But he does have a, a pretty awesome collection of sci-fi book covers that he like frames. So Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. Nerd alert. <laughs> There's fans out there. Like a nerd alert. Nerd alert. <laughs> Dude, he's the only guy who. He helps me with all these like music videos, like of all these rock bands. But like, if if you ask him what he listens to, it's like straight up classical and like opera and like like straight up opera. Yeah. Creep. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> he is, dude. I caught him on the plane, like he was all like buzzing on red wine or something, and he's just sitting there like going like this with his hands, like like a classical composer type dude. And I, I look over as his eyes are closed, and I see what channel he's listening to, just straight up like opera like ah, like just some old guy like screaming at the top like ah. I was like Franz you're a fucking creepo <laughs> when I call him let's play a song you got something on your iPod I want to play that El Bandita okay cool it's called uh, it is called track 6 H history deletes itself uh, we played a track last week called Uber Sex by El Bandita she's a chick from Holland she opened for a CKY a few years ago at the Milkweg 
and she's uh, still kicking ass. She's fucking a badass motherfucker. So let's listen to another track by her. People seem to like the last one we played. Yeah, good. History deletes itself on Radio Bam. Series twenty eight faction. Oh, faction, baby. Hi, guys. And now back to Radio Bam. Uh, wow, wow, boo. So that was El Bandito with History Deletes Itself. I'm with Chad I. Ginsburg, Punk Rock Michelle, Jacasso, Lou Goyle, Matty J. And uh, CKY just got back from Russia, and they took a train from St. Petersburg to Moscow. And three days after they left, the Taliban, he put a bomb on the railroad well, tracks. Oh, they don't know who it was. Well, it's probably a Taliban act. But anyway, a bomb went off, killing a hundred people three days uh, after you guys 30 left. People. Thirty. Thirty? Yeah, well, I don't want to make. Any, I, I don't want to miss one. I think it was twenty-seven, but I'll add a couple just for their sake. <laughs> I'm freaked out. Either way, that's fucking gnarly, dude. Like, suppose it, it dude, damn well could have happened it, to you. It was scary on that train. Too. Yeah. What, what was so scary about it? Just like it was. The, it was the first thing. We got on, uh, we, we couldn't read anything. The Nevsky Express from uh, Moscow to St. Petersburg. And uh, they, they spoke it was scary no as shit. It was a big fucking train. We stayed in little cabins there. There's four beds to a, a room, like a little, you know, a train cabin. And it's real Russian looking. And they just where Jesse ate tongue soup and shit. Like, Jesse could have been. Stop fucking around with that shit, Matt. <laughs> Seriously. Holy cocksucker. <laughs> fucking cock. Stop. <laughs> Clicking. Stop it. I hear clicking. I forget what I was talking about. You were talking about tongue soup. Tongue soup. Jesse could have died while eating tongue soup. I mean... Anything Russian just sounds shady to me. Like, you eat this tongue soup. No, yes. <laughs> you eat it. Uh, but I, I don't know if I... No, you eat it. No, yes. Okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> I lost my beer belly on that. You sit on train. No, yes. Why? Because you're scared to eat or drink anything? I couldn't read the menu. I, I, I heard you ate a lot of PB&J. Yeah. Yep. I did. <laughs> It's like the only thing safe. Yeah. Did you get your pizza fix out there? No. Was well, everything written in Russian? Yeah. So like you have no fucking it's clue like what it is. Like blind. If it's like in deaf. French or Italian, you could always make out like spaghetti or like yep. a, a ham sandwich or something. You know, like if it's in full blown Russian, you have no idea what you're ordering. We were like toddlers in Russia. They have like numbers in their words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about at the show? Did the fans, I mean, did you talk to them during it? And they, did they even understand what you're saying or what? You should have just shot photos of, like, french fries and, like, you know, just so you could point to, like, yeah. you have this? No, yes? Dar Darren tried to draw ice cream. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like an ice cream yeah. cone? <laughs> Threw three, draw three different versions of ice cream. They still didn't know. He was making, he's going like this. Like, put his <laughs> mouth, his li fucking fist to his mouth, taking licks. And yeah. they looked at him. They thought he was trying to suck somebody's dick and asking him where. <laughs> yep. So he started drawing pictures of ice cream. What if they're just like, oh, yeah, this, yeah, uh, cabin number three. Yeah. <laughs> Go in there, there's a bunch of homos in there. <laughs> Matty, Matty J, you spent, like, uh... No, I don't want to suck a dude's dick, man. I want ice cream. We shared cabins together. They were like little fart tombs. <laughs> but uh, me, Louie, and uh, who else was that? Jess, or... Jess and, um, Dice. Dice were in ours. Matty J was all on his own with three random Russian guys. <laughs> Okay. What was that like in a cabin? Well, it was good to get away from everybody for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, the one guy was a Russian composer, so he was nice. Did Jack went out in there? Um, they were all sleeping, so <laughs> I didn't bother them. <laughs> that was pretty brave of you, dude. I, I, I wouldn't want to get stuck with that fucking random bunk. When Chad was done his guitar solo at the, at the show in Moscow, there's this one guy in the front. He just goes, you were the champion. <laughs> <laughs> you were the champion. <laughs> It was crazy up there, that's all. You are the champion. What it, Michelle, what's it like in New Hope while we're gone? Like, I, we were all looking forward to coming back to John and Peter's. And Life was just so sad without you, Chad. Every day we just waited at the bar for you to arrive. Yeah, is that what was happening? No. Is Mickey from Ween still going there a lot? Mickey and Chad hung, hung out all night last night, I heard, after I left. Oh, you hear all that? Uh-huh, Scotty told me. Mickey looked like he had a good Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Matty J saying that shit. You might have to That's Matty J. Go out by the river. <laughs> well, yeah, Ween's from New Hope, and Michelle's been a big Ween supporter for a lot of years. Um, Michelle running the punk rock clothing store. What's that about? Is that all punk rock baby, baby clothes? Baby clothes? Yeah, yeah punk, punk rock, rock baby, baby clothes. clothes. Let's go. That's all that. That's, nah. that's from tennis earlier. You're all yeah. fucked up. 
That's for my tennis workout. I don't have any CKY baby clothes, so I think you guys should get on that. CKY baby clothes. Yeah, yeah. that could be a good idea. I mean, we I have motorhead baby clothes. I don't know, we don't want to promote procreation, so. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Maybe you should make CKY condoms then. Mm. Ah, uh, other end of the sun. Uh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Where would you put a CKY logo <laughs> on? Well. Uh, what would be the, the head? Suck my CKY ass <laughs> dick, bitch. Suck me girl. If it was Joe Franson's condom, though, you'd have plenty of space to put a CKY logo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it all comes back to Joe Franson's <laughs> member, saying, doesn't it? You brought it up earlier. Uh, Joe should get a CKY <laughs> tattoo on his dick, and then when it gets hard, it says, fuck you. <laughs> It could happen. Yeah, could happen. Good. I've seen worse tattoos. You know, Hannah's tattoo, as much as uh, I thought he'd be able to take advantage of that, he is embarrassed to have it. Wh the, which one? You know, the fucking one from Where the Fuck is Santa, where he has Finland map tattoo. He, was, he loved it before. He did love it, but I, I never see him showing it off. And then people ask him, like fans come up, like, let me see tattoo. And he's like, no. <laughs> was he not too fond of his belly at the moment? I wonder. I don't know. He said he'd rather not talk to anyone. Wow. He said he just hates everyone. He's he's gained a few pounds lately. There was Hannah Chance. At Plus every he has that fucking haystack of a haircut. He looked way better with that mohawk. Yeah. Nah. Is he got the? Now he's got that big fat red haystack. Pants? Is he the orange <laughs> pants on still? Yeah, yeah. Them orange pants still work. Oh. Those orange pants, dude. It looked like you just got out of jail with them. <laughs> awesome. They're so bright orange. They're like obnoxious. A lot of Mark Hannah Chance on this guy tour. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, I heard something in Germany. Hmm? Any, any, anyone recognize you, Luke Oil? Yeah. 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 It's pretty weird. There's a lot of people. Awesome. Look, look, look. Louis of the mo of the, mox of the maxi pads. Yeah. What do they say? A lot of them actually bring up Ray Brower. I think to listen to this show. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, the Moxie. A, a lot of Moxie fans. <clears throat> If you don't know who Ray Brower is, he's from uh, Stand By Me, the uh, the dead guy on the side of the railroad tracks. That, that was Lou Goyle in, uh, in New Hope a, l a little while back, and he's actually in the new book series as Dog Dirt, which you can get at Borders and wherever. Oh, oh my God, that book is awesome. Yeah, Michelle, you should sell Bam's book at your baby clothes place. It's not all baby clothes. Do you yeah. have baby clothes there, though? I actually brought a book clothes. for you. Awesome. Yeah. I brought baby clothes. You know, sex pistols and stuff like that. And you sell Doc Martens. I sell Doc Martens. And, uh... That I hooked you up on. Black on pants, yeah. And black pants with, like, chains on it. Yeah, I try not to do that mm. so much. Bondage pants, though. I get some plasmatic shirts from, from yeah. Michelle's store. Gigi shirts. It's all your needs. It is. It's all your punk I rock. I get my Gigi shirts right from the source. You don't know Gigi Allen. Gigi Allen. Gigi Allen. You know, that song is still very popular when we go to shows. And CKY has so many fucking songs now that... It's hard to add bite at you scum into the set, you know. We kind of rather. Play it gets people that. pumped up, though. Yeah, it's true. Last time Gigi was on tour, you didn't show up. You fucked up in '93. Yep, yep, yep. Lawrence, give me one. So another episode of Radio Bam taped over here at Studio CIG. Um, we've been pre-taping shows because I don't think we're allowed to go live anymore. <laughs> um, is it because of moaning? I don't know. I, mean, I think it's just because of scheduling right now. Oh, okay. But it's what? been tough lately because CKY was on tour for like three weeks in Europe, so there was three dates that uh, had to be um, rerun. Yeah, so we're oh, back yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, maybe I need to get a replacement for me. What well, Murray to... tried, right? Yeah, he yeah but he got a fucking it. DUI, so he can't even get down there. He's got to take a, a train to 30th Street Station, yeah, and if I happen to be in Philly, then I can pick him up. You couldn't figure out your equipment the other time, though. That was the big problem. Because he was wasted. Too wasted. No, I can't, you know. That's not here Too wasted there. to I know how to show. figure out Bam's equipment. Yeah, and then last time he was on the four-wheeler, dude. After, like, two minutes of him being on it, I'm like, he's going to flip it or something. He plows through the pricker bushes, nails this tree, and goes flying 15 feet, and he's just knocked out cold. And, and Luckily, uh, there was a uh, an event happening at Pocopson Park. I don't know what it was, but uh, the ambulances were already there, so like that's like less than a mile away. So they were there in like still took five tomorrow, minutes. Yeah. There's three cop cars and two ambulances, and there's going to be a helicopter. Yeah, he's a dumbass. Would have been, what, two hours to get to your house? It was scary. Like, thank God he was snoring. Like, at least he's breathing. Yeah. But it was, he was, like, instantly knocked out cold for a while. Are you going to have any more parties where Mario can drink all he wants and ride 
fucking ATCs everywhere? I don't think that's such a good idea. No. Well, fuck Murray. He's been an asshole and hasn't called since we got back from tour. So what the fuck? This is yours? That? Yeah, it's mine. Don't ask you it. Well, where do I do that? In an ashtray. Or on your pant leg. What? Like that? Oops. Okay, that didn't work. What have you been doing, dude? Playing tennis? Like skateboarding and shit? Dude, I was playing tennis with Jacazo and, uh... Yeah, you, you should go pro. Well, today was okay, but the, the <laughs> other time, we go to Concord Township, the fucking gate is locked, so I climb the fence, we're playing the tennis, and this this township dude shows up, and he's like, what do you think you're doing? I'm like, playing tennis. And he's just like, will you hop the fence? I'm like, yeah, because it was locked. He's like, well, you have to live in Concord Township. I'm like, I do. My parents live at fucking Mill Road right there. And he's like, well, you need to have a key. I'm like, it's not like we're like doing graffiti or doing anything wrong. We're playing simple tennis. And he's just like, well, you're not allowed to. I'm like, there's nobody here. We're not bothering anybody. I'm like, then we get in this argument. I'm like, dude, you need to wind up fucking late or something. He's like, yeah, you're right. I haven't gotten laid in a while. <laughs> wind up late. <laughs> Dude, man, you're fucking stressing about nothing. There's nobody here. We're not bothering anybody. And we're playing a simple game of tennis. You need to go wind up late, dude. No one else out there doing anything. Why not play a little tennis? I just don't understand what the big deal is. Well, you know. I live in that in the township. Well, Abe and Phil do, but I used to. But who cares? There's nobody there. It's not like people are waiting, you know? Hey, people with authority, man. They like to really use it, dude. The mall. I've been working at the mall lately. And, uh, you know, the mall security, the same way, dude. They, they don't have any weapons or any way of really stopping anything. In fact, if you steal something, I don't think they can really even claim you stole anything. So, they're just there. Speaking of stealing, wasn't there some, like, 13-year-old black chick? Uh, you work at the mall now. I do. I work for, uh... She was handcuffed, getting just... taken away by a bunch of police officers. The whole yeah. mall was looking at her. She the mall was a mess. Then, some dude came up and, and said, can I store these bags yeah. behind... What was that, that about? Was some cool new new wave of thievery that I'm not that keen on. But Lewis, you used to work at the mall. Maybe yeah. you know about it. But someone wanted to stow away bags. At he had a shitload of bags with tons of like expensive jackets in it, and he he said he left his wallet in Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's and he I wants even to. Know what's Bloomingdale's? He wants to put that his bags sense. behind the the skin store, and he wants him to watch them yeah. for like an hour. Yeah. And, and, an hour goes by. He yeah. said he'd be back in 15 minutes. So then you called security, and it turns out that it was stolen bags, yeah. right? Because he never came back for them. There's not, you know, there's just some coats. I used to fake steal from Diesel. We would see the security guard coming. So as soon as he got close, I would grab a mannequin and run out with it like I was stealing it. <laughs> they would never do anything. Because they knew you worked there? No, they just, I guess they figured it was a joke. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> it's crazy out there. Har harmonican. Harmonican. A harmonican? Harmonican. What a great movie, mannequin. <laughs> Speaking of great movies, New Moan is out now. In the New movie. Moan. So I didn't see it yet. I'm surprised Missy didn't drag you to that. She already went. She, when I was on my bender and she didn't want to hang out, she went and saw it with her sister. Ooh. New moan. Michelle, you got a new moan? <laughs> Do you have a new moan? I haven't seen any of those movies. We're on the street. Oh, uh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fucking radio. <laughs> Uh, Jacaza, you have a new moan? Uh, okay, try one. I do like a fitness moan like when I work out. It's a little different. It's more of a breathing so I can even out the body. When you're at the gym left and you're like, oh. It's like a... <laughs> 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 That's more, it's more of like a piston valve, like like a release, like a like an exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, you should just go to the gym and lift next to some buff guy. Just pick up some weights like... <laughs> oh, that fucking burns. <laughs> Well, they got yeah. a, they, they oh, got yeah, a gym near my house. Burns. There's this gym that won't allow you to make any grunting noises or drop weights or anything. And if you do, an alarm goes off and you're you're kicked out of the gym. So. So, uh, How can you control that? If you're lifting up something too heavy and you're like, <laughs> oh, you're gone. Yo, you're fucking thrown out of here. What, you're dude? Gone. I'm just working out. You're gone. You gotta respect It's like a everyone. meathead alarm. Yeah, it's like a, it's called a fucking meathead alarm. alarm. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> fucking meatheads in here. But it's really not even that it's just, uh, high tech. It's just someone at the front desk who just hits a button when they see it so I mean you yeah. can really cheat it if you're if you're kind of you know all about it if you want to be spicy you can head down to the slim gym <laughs> you're simple I know man I, I don't mind being simple sometimes if you get simple enough you might get rich I like that's the problem with CKY is we're just not so simple 
true. It is a pretty problem. technical. Yeah, it's too, too fucking smart. Aren't you guys going to Japan sometime soon? We're going to Japan for the first time with Inflames. Thank Inflames for taking us there. Oh, that's great. Um, I like Inflames. Yeah, Tokyo mm -hmm. and uh, Osaka. So we're in January, like January 21st through the 25th. And that's going to be great. We yes. don't have fucking any time scheduled to fucking hang out at all. It's gig, travel day, then gig, and then we're scheduled to go home. I'm pissed. I'm going to try to... Extend that. You gonna stay at Tokyo Hotel? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you're simple. <laughs> you're simple. Oh, you're so simple. Oh. I'd stay at Tokyo Hotel. Mm. What are you gonna play? Not that. No, I'm playing the Rakes. They're from England, and this is called We Dance Together. This song is pretty good. Radio Man, here's 28. Uh, 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 Radio Man. We're going hot right now. Uh, uh, stop. Run for your life. Look what we found in Don Vito's ass. Howdy ho! This is Radio Bam, baby! Faction. That was the Rakes. And, uh, first of all, I want to say that Louie just bumped into this dude who was my medium friend, and, uh, turns out he... he told him that, uh, he wants to kill me because he stole my credit card and raked up $900 at Delilah's and a bowling alley drinking beers. Yeah, strip club and then a bowling alley. And, and then he, he got caught and other places and he got caught at the bowling alley stealing. It wasn't even my credit card. He, he took Phil's credit card. So Phil pressed charges on him not knowing who the hell it was. And, and then he sees Louie last night and he says he wants to kill me because he had to spend two days in jail and he had to pay the money back. Yeah. A, it has nothing to do with me. B, he stole the credit card. When he tries to say that that um, I gave it to him because he said that he was like uh, having problems, uh, money problems, and uh, he, he had to uh, help his mom out with like rent payment. Like, yeah. okay, well, why didn't you pay your rent with the credit card then? Yeah. Like, why did you go to the fucking Delilahs and drink it up and, and throw twenties down girls' pussies? Doesn't like, sound right to me. Man. Like, what is the logic in that? Oh, to kick Bam's ass. He totally caught me stealing his credit card, and I had to go to jail for it. I that, had to kick like, his ass. That's, that's what he said. Well, you can't steal people's credit cards. Because... <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. I had to go to jail. Like, yeah. And, and then I'm sure it resorts back to, he's got two fucking Lamborghinis. Yeah. What does it matter if I took $900 from his credit card? What does he care? What does he care? Fuck. What an idiot. Yeah. Plus, it wasn't mine. It was Bill's. They called up Phil saying, we caught some kid at, at Northern Liberties bowling, sp spending $700 on booze. Like, it, it, it should be f well, Phil. Why does he want to kill you, though? Just well, in his defense, Bam is an asshole for catching him. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. I didn't even catch him. The police did. Well, in his defense, you're pretty, that's pretty fucked up. Well, they, they asked for his ID, and then uh, he gave it to him, and it didn't match up, so he, he ran out. He ran out of the uh, strip club or whatever, and uh, <laughs> the guy had his credit card, so he called, or he, he had his ID. So the police came and they said, This is the kid. So then they called Phil and they're like, Well, I won't say his name, but but yeah, so that's what happened. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah. But he's probably told his like white lie story so many times that he actually believes yeah, it now. That's what happens. It is what happens. Like, How long has that been? Six months. I think he might go back to jail, he was saying. Because of that? Yeah. Or or have to pay a humongous fine. You know what sucks? Uh, I heard if it's like over $850 or something, it's it's considered a felony or something. And he spent 900 <laughs> Like, if he would have just bought like five less beers, yeah, yeah, yeah. then he wouldn't be in so much trouble. Five less beers. Hey, well, uh, I have to take a pee. Do you... Do you yeah, um, is that it. cool with you, yeah, Bam? Because if not, I'll I'll hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Stick it in the cup. Hey, what, what do you think this is, Bam? Well, I Bam, I, I really gotta go. Bad. Well, hold it. I, but Bam, I gotta go. Bam. I think Lou got worms in Europe, everyone. Oh he's, no. He's got a. Yeah, he, he went. Lou Goyle went to Luke Goyle. Yeah. And took a yeah. major ass diarrhea dump today, and you stalled 20 minutes, and we were late. Yeah. We're stalled. late for this very radio show. Uh, it's God. the Goyles. It's like diarrhea, but it's worse. It's called the Goyles. Yeah. Probably all that Russian food. Yeah. yeah. I w hey, chat. Yeah. Hey, Matty J, you, you guys been backed up from that food? No. I have. No. It's backed up. <laughs> yeah, I can't, go, I can't go to the potty. Today, I did go to the potty, but before that, it just backed up. 
Yeah. Get Tor will definitely fuck with your shitting schedule. And, uh, so when are you going to fix your tooth? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I say you don't, man. Yeah, I'm I going see to see how far it goes. I mean, it might take you places. You should chill for a week yeah, like that. Why not sit on it? Oh, yeah. no, it doesn't look that good, dude. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like, it's not like a cool chip. It's like more a uh, hillbilly chip. Let me see. Mm -hmm. A little hill, oh. hillbilly Because it's your front tooth. Yeah. But you were going to shave them buck teeth down so they matched, right? Ah, uh, that's what you could have What do you mean, Chaz? There's rabbit teeth. What are you, what are you trying to say here, you Chaz? You said it How do you yourself. suck dicks with them rabbit teeth? Yeah, it's sharp. <laughs> Cuts. Sharp. What's your favorite month to suck dicks? Uh, September. <laughs> It's actually a great... Punk Rock Michelle, when was the last time you sucked a dick? September. Really? Yeah. I thought you had summer sausage. You said August. <laughs> I think mm. September, but it could have been August. I don't know. It was in a van. <laughs> Wait, should I have said that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me more details. It was a van. Was it a drunken night? It was... I wasn't drunk. He was. Therefore, it was a very long night. Ugh. Was it a fun dick sucking? Was it a long day for him? It was a fun dick sucking, but it just never ended, if you know what I mean. Like... It 30 was, minutes went by and you're like, come on, man. I was like, Jesus effing Christ, man. Did you feel insulted? No, I knew what was going on. He was probably it, hammered. It's gone on more than just that one time. You, are you ever turned up by the man odor down there? Mm, there's not really, it's not that funky. Nice. It's, I guess it depends on the guy. But no, I just go for it. Uh, just, just jump right, right in. Just, uh, <laughs> chomp, just chomp on that Charleston <laughs> chew and just... I'm, just not, I'm not a chomper. You're not a chomper. No. What a... What's what's so great about it then? What the cock? You, you or, or said my, you're a talented. Uh, I'm very talented. Somebody told me I should write a book. How many do you have on, under your belt? How to suck? <laughs> I love you. How many pee <laughs> no, seriously. How many? I think everyone out there wants to know how many peepees do you. You can round up down. Yeah. How many peepees do you I, have to I'm suck very, to, very to write a book? I'm very very inexperienced. It's not it's not how many different peepees. It's just. What just, would you call your book? It's the quant. Um, what would I call my book? Mm -hmm. Um. It's gotta be I, a I can make book. you come in three minutes or less. Ooh. So, so your what's back. your what's your dick sucking number? Uh, I don't remember. Take a wild guess. You could be. Lose uh, <laughs> <laughs> seven. I don't know. It. Um. I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't. Mm. I have no idea. Do you I, like Do you like that I'm better very, than sex? I'm very inexperienced. Do you like it better Young. than sex? Uh, um. <laughs> He's getting up. Man. Uh oh. He's got the goyles. Oh boy. Do you have the goyles? He's, He's got going. The there you go. You got to shit. shit or piss? Piss. I yeah, right. Know. He's going to shit. He is. He's making him want to shit. Leaving like that, you can always hold piss for longer. If you got to shit, you yeah. got to shit. Exactly. All right, I'm going to play a song. No shit. <laughs> Lacrimis Profunde from Austria. And this song is called We Shouldn't Be Here on Radio Bam Series 28 Faction. Does it look like I give a fuck? Oh, holy Lord, I got a Strap yourselves in and lace up those shoes because you're listening to Radio Band. Turn it off, faction. Yeah, Lacrimus Profunde, Austria, uh, Radio Band Series 28 faction. Um, so, uh, in Sweden, when we were getting on the boat, Louis lost his passport. No, actually, the tour manager lost yeah. your passport because he insisted on holding it. Yeah. Well, he should have been, look been looking for no. it. No. <laughs> No. You didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. Didn't you ask for it back? He said he should keep it. Every day I'm like, hey, uh, do I need to hold on to my passport? He's like, nah, because uh, you know the bus stops overnight, and uh, we we just I have all of them hanging on them. So the very moment I needed it the most, I was like, hey man, you got my passport? He's like, yeah. Looked for it, panicked, and didn't have it. Chad tore laughed. the bus apart. Yeah. Ugh. Bus. Had Speaking to turn of around, bus, I I lost back. a fucking nice ass ruby on that bus. Or on some bus or somewhere. <laughs> I yeah. lost all my clothes, but so you lost. They're your at my house. <laughs> That's true. They're mixed in with your laundry. Yeah, but I don't know what is yours, so you need my, to go pick it out. My shit says Gigi or w w Wendy O. Or it's it's Adam. hung up in my closet, but I don't know which is yours, so you got to go sift through it. Boof just hung it up in my shit. I'll sift through it. I don't want to sniff through it though. <laughs> so anyway, your well, passport. It was in his bag. He said it wasn't. He said he gave it back, and then I was like, dude, can you just check your bag one more time? Oh, I hate when you have to do it. at the bottom. And he's like, I checked my bag. It's not in it. Just yeah. do it again, man. I wanted to cry my eyes out. Uh, That's the worst. I was nice to you, though. No, you laughed. <laughs> oh, Chaz. I apologize. And Maddie was looking at fish. You know what? It, it wasn't. It wasn't. He was looking at a fish tank. Was, Chad's laughing, and me a, and Carl went down to hell. It was a bonding <laughs> moment. Uh, Carl... Carl and Bam were the only ones that came to the bus, searched the bus with me, 
thanked him a million times. When I came back, I was all happy because it found, we found it, and Chad said he's sorry to me. And well, I because felt, I was just telling you the whole time while you were panicking, dude, just you should never forget where you put your passport, man. Every time of, during the day, if you're overseas, you need to think, where's my passport? And five, you're just getting madder times. because that doesn't help the matter. Yeah. You should have known where you put your passport. Yeah. yeah, well, it's not here, so that doesn't help I, at all. I was basically just saying what, what, I, what I'd say to myself. Would you lose your passport? Out loud, if I had lost my passport. It came off mean, yeah, I could have. But fuck, dude, you found it, so. Yeah. You're lucky. You gotta keep a copy of your passport, like a fucking photocopy if you're going overseas. Didn't you have one? Uh, in Russia we did. We made photocopies, left them in the safe. But, you know what would have been cool? Well, not cool, but say I didn't get it, I wouldn't have been able to go into Russia, and if it was three days later and you guys were on that train that crashed, I would have been the one laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't have inherited the CKY fortunes if we became a dead band. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know who would get that. Who would? I'm trying to think. I think... Uh, Probably the Roller Rager. Would it go straight to the label? Really? Uh, I think Darren and, and Jess's wives, me. probably. Yeah. <laughs> and their kids, so... Yeah. You know, uh, to Tommy Carver's going to come kill us one day for <laughs> all the CKY guys. And it fucked up that if you're dead, everything is... You, you'll sell them way more? Uh, it is, because you don't get to partake in, in the fucking money. Yeah, you gotta fake your death. That's, <laughs> that's a good way to do it. What I'm if a, just one of you dies? Um, do I get to pick who? Yeah, you get to pick who. <laughs> it's always better when the lead singer dies. Yeah, that's what I heard. I mean, in a lot of reasons, you know, right? If the drummer dies in a band, <laughs> the band still has to go out and work and, like... Right. Yeah, the singer dies, you can totally say, like, we can't do it anymore. So. <laughs> or you could have a reality TV show where you try to find a new lead singer. Yeah, that would be access. fun. What happened to that super group with uh, Dave Navarro and uh, the guy from Metallica and some other dude? Penn Darvis says it's cool to talk about BJs. Oh, it Ooh, is. Yeah. I love BJs. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sam's Club. <laughs> Louis, that's something you're simple. <laughs> Louis, you said you never uh, were able no, to finish. Um, to, what you said you were never able to finish when getting a blowjob right. from yeah. a guy. He you can't, can't give one with that chip tooth. Oh, I don't, well, come on, friend. <laughs> Dude, you'll, you're going to leave a scar. Hey. No, that's giving. I can give them just fine. Hey. <laughs> Not with a chip tooth like that. I can give it, dude. It's no. Bullshit. That's sharp that ass. Would hurt somebody. What's Louis' favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. Chips ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> so, now without words allowed to talk about blowjobs. I mean, what is, what's your favorite kind of blowjob? My favorite kind? Yeah. Um, when there's like five guys in a room on a radio show. Ah. <laughs> Drop your pants, boys. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm wearing long johns. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem? I think That's he, gross. I think we're allowed to talk about them, not get them, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what he said, actually. Uh, yeah. Is it, we, he said you could talk about it, just don't get one. Can we fake it? <laughs> oh, can we can't, fake even, it? can't even fake it, no. Can you fake it with a beer bottle? Cock locked by the boss, mm. dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was the worst blowjob you ever gave? Worst blowjob? Just like a really terrible experience. I think it's like the little tiny penises that yeah. don't get hard. I would think a smaller cock would be drunk. more fun. No. Would you rather have two big dicks or three little dicks at once? <laughs> In my mouth? Either way. <laughs> <laughs> I um two big dicks. <laughs> and three little dicks on the side. Waiting to go. <laughs> Waiting to go. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, what's the best blowjob you ever got? Um, the one you're gonna get in an hour? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm not I think in the mood. Back in the 80s, there was this one girl who worked at the at Bonnie's Rocks at the uh, fucking bar we played at as a local band. And she is uh, she wore a Zorro mask, you and lie. I like it was in the car, and she was wearing a Zorro mask. I don't know what I liked about that, but uh, I remember it still. It was pretty good too. But I was like 17. So. Yeah, that was a good one. That's usually when it's the most fun because yeah. it's brand new. Yeah, it was fucking great. <laughs> I didn't even like them when I was that young. I didn't start liking them until a couple of years ago when I got really good at them. 
Uh, first time Franz's buddy <laughs> Pat, who worked on Viva La Bam, first time you fucked, he said he was just like, he said out loud, "I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking." <laughs> they just, <laughs> but like he said it out loud, like as soon as he put it in, "I'm fucking, I'm fucking, I'm fucking." <laughs> Like the chick was probably like, "What?" <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, reassuring himself. This is definitely, definitely happening. Like he just couldn't believe that he was actually doing it for the first time. <laughs> the cum leaves a really bad taste in your mouth, though. I have to say. Not, Mocking? No, not no. blowjobs. Ah, I never. The cum. The cum. You've never had the cum? No. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I, what? It's a what? bad. It's a bad taste. Well, it depends on the guy, but sometimes it tastes like battery acid. Really? Uh huh. How do you know what battery acid tastes like? Oh, well, you know, you know what I like. Come on. That's what they say about <laughs> girls with dirty, uh, dirty. Oh, it tastes like battery puss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on the same page. When First girl I've ever eaten out was in, uh, huh, ninth grade, I think. Yeah. And uh, total battery puss. <laughs> but did you care? Because you were in I, ninth grade and you were. No, like, I did care. I, it, yeah, I, think I didn't. I didn't want to do it anymore. And then the next time I did it with a girl that I liked, and it was good. It was fun as hell. Yeah, like a wonderful fruit. Yeah, <laughs> strawberry. And now I was in the back of Mark Hanna's truck with this chick. In, uh, and I was like fingering her, dude. It smelled like a rotten pumpkin. It was so <laughs> bad, dude. A anytime I smell a rotten pumpkin, I think of this girl and it's. Oh. The gift yeah. that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's terrible. Man. It's terrible. Man. Well, that's why girls should definitely, you know, be very clean. It's important for parents to teach their kids to, to keep that shit clean, right? Man. It's not my job. Guys aren't always clean either. Sometimes well. there's some funkified stuff going on down there. Yeah, if you Especially jog a bunch. you ride your, like, ATV around for a while. ATV? <laughs> How do you get sweaty riding an ATV? <laughs> I don't know. When you crash into a tree and you're laying there. I don't know. I don't know. Baby wipes. You guys play. When you skateboard, you get all sweaty down there. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't go skating for two hours and try to get my dick sucked. You On tour, wouldn't? everybody's balls smell like baby wipes. Ugh. Everybody's balls? Like baby wipes and balls. <laughs> it's a total recognizable smell. It's, it reminds me of tour. Baby wipes and balls. Yeah. It's time for a song. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bam, what are you going to play? Well, they're playing in Albany pretty soon, so I'm going to play the Agonist. Awesome. Uh, Might have to go up and see him. This yeah. song is called Thank You, Pain by the Agonist from Montreal. Here we go. Radio Bam, Series 28 Faction. It's Radio. Radio. Bam. Bam. Ryan this is Ryan Dunn, and you've tuned in to Radio Bam. I have no idea why they gave us this stupid show. Whoever hired us should have their job title reevaluated, because they are a fuck up. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the agonist. And uh, Chad sitting here looking at a picture of me on Halloween, looking like Edward Scissor Bam. <laughs> Was that supposed to be what happened? I mean, it's like fucking bizarre, dude. <laughs> Who did that? Is that a professional? Because it's crazy. <laughs> uh, I have black eye contacts in and black lipstick. Um, funny as fuck. Adrian did it. She she's a makeup artist. She just did lovely bones with Mark Wahlberg. Didn't she do uh, she Picasso's lovely bone? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, but Picasso keeps sitting on his phone and pocket dialing her, and she's getting fed the fuck up. I learned a valuable lesson that. Well, her name is Adrian and starts with an A, so that's like the first. You know, like if you sit on your phone, it's probably common that you know that's the one that you pocket dial. But she's so mad about it. Well, I changed that. We got we we fixed that. You fixed that problem. We fixed that. I then unfortunately I had accidentally pocket speed dial setter, so it was hitting like a number, you know, like H, and then just. At least you didn't pocket dial Lindsay Lohan for 22 minutes while you're fucking in the Hummer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. Dude, I looked at my phone and Did it says Lindsay. I'm like, God, damn. no, it was a voicemail the whole time. <laughs> nice. Did it record? It, yeah, it recorded. But you know, I hope she doesn't know it was me. What do you, what do you say when you're fucking in the Hummer? Like you yeah. say, like oh, it's just no, in no, 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 no. It's probably just a bunch of like I'm fucking, fucking in a Hummer. Fuck me. No, no, no. I'm fucking. 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 It's probably a bunch of nonsense, really. Just the perfect whiff to fuck it. Yeah, oh you're, yeah. You're, you're doing the nasty a lot of times in the car, aren't you? Yeah. Really? You're in there. Well, it's a Hummer. It's big. Wow. You know. And plus, it's more fun than doing it in the bedroom. Hummer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because didn't you break something during listening to the Veronicas too at one point? Party uh, the car. That was in your book. I was reading it. 
Yeah, the cup holder. Yeah. I want to copy that book, dude. I got one for Seriously. you. This is dog dirt. Yeah. It's pretty serious. Where is that? Book. You can get that at any bookstore? Well, you get it in the Hummer because it's unlocked in Chad's <laughs> driveway. Where can anyone else get it? Uh, bookstore. God save the queen. Any bookstore. It's all commercial. <laughs> yeah, there's even commercials. Or Amazon, yeah. Yeah. It's on MTV, too. Yeah. It is? Oh, yeah, there's like, you have some TV specials. Are you working with MTV on some new TV show, or is that... MTV no, no, uh, with Spike TV. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Uh, me and Ryan Dunn. Um, but uh, I am having like a 48-hour takeover with uh, MTV2 coming up like real soon. And they're also playing Where the F is Santa on the 13th of wow. December. Oh, no, oh yeah. That's a oh, lot dude. of things. Yeah. Oh, dude, we're dude. fucking oh, stars. You know, I'm going to get my calendar out right now. Dude, you're going to be fucking famous, you're gonna be dude. fucking famous, man. Dude, some fucking moxies in that. What, they got to probably edit the whole movie out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they have to edit out uh, Novak eating a dead reindeer eyeball and then shitting it out. Yeah, yeah. I think they could leave that in. Yeah, or him. Well, it's, they don't show it coming out of his ass. They show it going in. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> well, when he shits it out, there was no crap on it. It's it was just a fucking eyeball, it was, it dude. It actually cleaner. Yeah. When it went in. Dude, that eyeball must have been like so gooey that nothing could even stick on it. Uh, uh. Yeah. He said when he swallowed it, it was just like sticking to his throat like a, yeah. one of them spiders you throw on a refrigerator. It was like sliding uh, like down his throat crawlers. like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a PBR over all this. Well, shit. You're seriously making me throw up in my mouth. What? You never seen Where the Fuck is Santa? That I never saw it. It's oh. that movie when... We, I never we saw went to, it, all right? We went to, I don't have a DVD player. We went to Lapland, Finland to Only go and steal Santa Claus. Because Santa Claus is not from the North Pole. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole story. He's not, Where did he's the eyeball come into this and, mess? It yeah. came in from the Dutsons. They, uh, <laughs> the the Dutsons are the Finnish jackass style type guys. Yeah. And they're badass. Uh, they were fun. So they brought a lot of treats onto the train, and uh, mm -hmm. Novak ended up eating them or getting right. Also, they had a, uh, a dead bull dick. <sighs> what else? Oh, man. Everything like bad. Like, like reindeer intestines, like yeah. uh, all this. And it was all in like a box. Uh, I slapped the bull dick on Novak's face. It was a food fight with him. Then I think I shoved. Yeah, then I shoved it up his ass. I did. Wow. Well, I hope they show the behind the scenes part where Franz is rocking out the ham. Oh yeah, that's classic. That Wait, is. what was he doing? Franz. Uh, he was. Oh, uh, yeah. he was rocking out the him, but he's in the background as Bill is singing, and he's just like so into it, like probably drunk, whatever. But his face is just like. <laughs> like, and then it's, yeah, like all dead seriously and like smiling and then like yeah, and then feeling it again like it was in every shot that it, they cut it from the movie but like they, yeah they cut that whole scene from the movie because like he was embarrassing it, the, it was embarrassingly like he was in the background so bad that, that you couldn't even look at Villa the singer like it looked he, like he was mocking him but he wasn't yeah, that's yeah. just how he gets into shit mm. yeah, yeah there's full midlife crisis there bad Rocking, France, that sexy motherfucker. Did you ever call him? Uh, he, he didn't pick up. Why don't you call G and ask for a new axe? Oh man, dude, fucking G has a campfire at my house, and then he takes an axe and he puts it in the fire. You know, and, like and it has a plastic axe. handle. Yeah. So like, it's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to make the axe hot. And then he's like, but the whole thing is in it. And then he pulls it out, and it's just melted. <laughs> like that. It's just a melted he goes, thing, and he's like, oh, oh, it fell off. What was he going to do with a hot axe? Like, that motherfucker. He was going to feel like he was like a blacksmith, like, you know, making an axe from, from metal. It's already know. made. He was going to reshape the axe? <laughs> yeah, he's going to reshape I don't know what his plan was. He cut wood any better when it's hot. I don't know. He's an idiot. Well, Sounds stupid. He owes me a new axe. I'll say. I'll say. Why does the Lamborghini smell like Jack Daniel? Hey, Louie, you wear, you wear axe. Oh, uh, yeah. Louis was driving me around in the Lambo. I had a bottle of Jack Danielle, and it was between my feet, open. And uh, I guess he floored it, and the whole thing spilled underneath the seat, dude. It smells like death in there. Like he, he's like, I don't even know how to I'm clean so it. So bummed out, I spilled Jack Danielle in my in the Lambo. I'm like, dude, that sucks. A really nice car, but it sucks you that. No, dude, I'm pissed. That I didn't get to drink it because <laughs> <laughs> it was all gone. It was a brand new bottle, all gone. Some cops gonna make you walk the line, Johnny Cash. Well, we went to Walmart and had it all cleaned out nicely and uh, ready and detailed for the. Uh, it still reeks. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. You really? That, uh -oh. What's the value of that car now? Uh, what? Because of the Jack Danielle? Probably yeah, only most, like probably only worth things. like two hundred thousand now, right? Well, I spent two hundred fifty thousand <laughs> on it, but I honestly bet with uh, 
the miles and the uh, doors and everything, like it's probably on, only worth like a hundred and twenty thousand or less. Well, if it ever gets too bad, I'll trade you for my space shuttle that I drive. I'm not gonna sell it because I'll be too bent out of shape. You'll miss it. All right, it's time to go, Louie. I have a song for you. Oh, what is it? In the desert. No. In the Here desert. we go. Oh, yeah. Desert. Oh, Lady Hook. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Uh, we're we are gonna dance it out? Are we gonna dance it out? It's supposed to be playing. Oh no, I'm not gonna just play. You gotta tell me when. All right, right now. All right, great. Here we go. All right, later, dudes. For Radio Band. That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam! Radio Bam, every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Bam at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, Peapod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. Faction. Later.